What's up guys, Devontae Frigga here. You're usually here for my basketball vlogs today. I'm here with starting, I almost said point guard, <laughs> with starting quarterback, D'Angelo Fulford of Mount Union. You were here in uh, the national champion. You guys have won one national championship in the video. Yep, one, one, then one. had the loss last year, um, and then you're about to bounce back this year, right? Oh, no. Been seeing stuff on his Instagram lately. You guys are ready for the season. Uh, if you guys don't know about Mount Union, you literally just go into Google, type in Mount Union football, and you'll be set. You'll need to know everything. Honestly, I don't even know you have to do that. You Google Mount Union, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, football. 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 But yeah, like I said, you're usually here for my basketball vlogs. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate it if you subscribe, leave a like, especially if you're a football player and looking to play at the collegiate level. I'm going to be doing some more stuff with D'Angelo this year since it is both of our senior year. We're going to get started. He's going to give us a, a tour of the locker room and then maybe show us some of the jerseys. What, what is this room? What do you guys use this room? So this is like our meeting room. It's way before the locker room, first of all. Um, Coach Ken Wable uh, sadly passed away um, last semester, I believe, last week. This whole building is dedicated to him, pretty much. You look around and see like all of our national champions, like each trophy is on the wall. You got former players, all American, Hall of Fame, first team all the way, C banners. Every this this is our this is our own space. We don't share this locker room with anybody. It's our own. So this is just our meeting room. Um, this room here, we have our own ice tub, so we don't have to take the long walk all the way back up to the mat. Do they, do they require you guys to take ice baths before and after, or after, I mean? Uh, no, it's kind of, well, receivers are required to. Uh, we kind of try to make everybody get in. It's actually done into this to us by one of our former trainers, Ron. Yeah, so he set this whole thing up. Why don't you tell us, is it, tell us if it's cold though, Let me hop in real quick. Mm -hmm. I hate ice baths. I hate ice baths. I was just right. So I hate ice baths. Side note, I hate ice baths. I've taken like two in my life. One was like a slush one, like for your ankles and stuff, because it was gonna mess up my ankles, because I can't guard anybody. And then the second, um, <laughs> we actually have three of our jersey, or three of our jersey combinations in here. Our snow unis, our storm troopers, some people call them that. These are our all whites. Actually, different helmet. You'll see it in the locker room in a little bit. So I cover, honestly love all of our combinations. We can get pretty dirty with what we got. All great. We got our wolf grapes in the corner. I don't they have your number up here. This is our, our grapes. These are, some people call them our Barney Fits. Barney Fits. <laughs> but yeah, these are our traditional all purple unis, purple helmet, purple jersey. So you guys have purple, white, and gray? And we have all black, which and is black. black. Which one's your favorite? Last year, because just because we got white helmets, our stormtrooper fits are nice. I like white helmets, gray jerseys, white pants. That's my favorite combination. Okay. Of you you guys ever like do that? Like you switch it up? Oh yeah, we captains pants. vote every week on what we wear. Good captain this year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congrats. Basically, the man who started Mount Union football, he's the one who started our legacy, got us on that winning path, and then obviously, uh, Coach Cares over there, the GOAT, like in any division, <laughs> just the GOAT, winning percentage, crazy numbers. As you walk in, so God, family, football, that's our team mantra, heart commitment, loyalty, and hope, those are our core values. Up on this wall, and on this wall, we have all of our plaques. Basically, you'll see like, academic All-American, these are our OAC awards. This one I'm on, Bob Packer Award. So what is, what is the Bob Packard since you're on it? The most valuable offensive back in the conference. And That's awesome. I'm trying to be the first to win it three years in a row. Three um, years. So you have got, 17 and 18. This is going back to 1982. No one in our conference has ever won it three years in a row. And I got the last two plaques on here, so I'm That's trying to awesome. start a new one. That's awesome. This is just our like our football legacy. We'll see a bunch of different words and stuff just pop up. Just buy the numbers going down. 13 most national championships in college yeah. football history. Is it cool to like be a part of some of these too? Oh, of course. Like, this part it's, like, like, it's what brings it, it's what brings the talent into it every single time. Uh, so we have our football board and this is our goal sheets. So like we have each team that we play, they get a logo. Obviously, this is our goal every year going to the stag bowl. So. That's why we have it up there. It's really cool for me to see this because like as a basketball team, we have like our whiteboard and we like put our goals up there by game. This is like super elaborate and it's really cool to see because like breaking it down from a national championship football team at this level, at the collegiate level, like this is like even the small thing, something like this, this is what it takes to win at this level. We actually expanded this locker room. We used to have to put, because we had so many people, we had to put them in the overflow locker room, which is locker room D, which is underneath the home stands. Here actually behind you, we have our all black unis. These are new this year, actually our 
pretty much your first look at them. New jerseys, new pants, lighter, stronger material. But we have all pur we have a purple helmet with white face mask, and then we have a white helmet with white face mask. And I'll show you guys my locker in a second. Uh, this is our expansion room uh, over here. Well, first before we get to that, we have our laundry team, laundry crew. Logan's in there, doing a great job. What's up, Logan? This is also our part of our equipment room. There's another part that goes upstairs called the cage, where we hold all of our jerseys, cleats, any chin straps, knee pads, all that stuff that we need. So are you guys sponsored at all? Like sponsored by Nike, sponsored, like do you guys have to pay for your own shoes or your cleats and stuff like that? I think we get a good amount. Like I know returners usually don't have to pay for cleats. Like we get at least one new pair of white cleats. A lot of guys like myself, I like a lot of different color combinations. So yeah. <laughs> I'll show you my locker. I'm okay. going back this way. This is Greg. He just said that he watches a vlog, so he gives a shout out. So shout out to Greg. Got anything to say? I mean, he's a great YouTuber. Go subscribe, like, do everything. Appreciate it. Thanks. Man. Good luck. Like the jersey too. Check it out. Tune squad. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. This is mine this year. Nice. As we were talking about with the like color combinations and stuff, like I got my purple cleats, my blacks, my practice white. My new white ones are okay. Oh, those are nice. How how fast will those be brown? Oh, these are these these, <laughs> these get dirty like after you put them on. <laughs> I switched back. I had a F7, which is I'll show you what that is. But this is a Speed Flex, it's one of the newer helmets that we have. Oakley visor, tinted right now because we're in camp, so I can wear that. In the season, you have to wear a clear visor. What's the reasoning behind that? It's just an NCAA rule, really. Uh, These are a white helmet, so I had the same helmet in white. So it's and the exact same helmet, just different color. Yep, and this one has my clear visor already on it. So that's one that you have to wear if they're NCAA, NCAA regulation. We actually get new stuff donated to us every now and then. I just got white practice pants from Pitt. That's pretty cool. So like, <laughs> so like university. We reach out to the schools. Uh, our equipment manager last year, Orbney, set some stuff up where he would get. Uh, he got us like purple stuff, purple cleats and stuff from TCU. That's awesome. But like some of these like larger schools that basically get flooded with free things from like exactly. and they have and they start selling it to other places. That's awesome. That's Remember awesome. I told you I had an F7. This is what an F7. This is the newest like shut helmet. Honestly, I'm really comfortable. I just like the look of the Speed Flex better. So this is like the newest helmet in the game, pretty much. Vices. This is like. Is everything new? You said this one was new. That well, they all new. they all release new models. Oh, here. they're all they're all new, but they're different models. Yeah. Well, this is the <laughs> this is the best helmet in the game. Like the U.S. military uses this, like for their helmet, like their troops. Well, then I guess it protects you. <laughs> What's up? Two of our other captains. Up, this is the Williams. vlog. I'm Devontae. What's up, guys? So, what do you guys think? We're, we're doing a locker room tour right now with D'Angelo. I guess, like, you guys want to add anything to the locker room, anything you appreciate, or, like, you know, incoming high school athletes or high school football players that want to play at the collegiate level could look forward to. The new layout we have. We came in as freshmen. Concrete floors. Lockers. Our lockers weren't even open. We had a code for our whole locker like it was closed cool we all have like places to put all our stuff shoulder pads we can like lock our own stuff in here whatever mm -hmm. we want and everything's and stuff, like you, so. got, you guys mentioned that a lot of the stuff's new so like mm -hmm. everything's always kept clean like mandatory for you guys to, like make sure it's yes. clean in here we have one cleaning lady. We try to keep it as clean as possible so she doesn't have to do much. That's not really her job to clean up after us. It's just, uh, I guess, to kind of keep it as clean as possible. But if we can do that job yeah. for her, it makes her life easier. Respectful. <laughs> yeah, I know. Probably one of the best parts of the locker room is our speaker system. So, yeah, really so quick so I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> When's it, so like after after big games like that you win even though you guys win basically every game it's like you guys turn the speakers on and just go crazy in here and oh all the time we do it before the game after the game before practice we do it in the after practice I don't know if I've ever showed it in any vlogs but over in the MAC that's where basketball stuff is basically every other team shares the training facilities the ice baths everything like that football team you guys kind of have your own thing over here yeah we got way too many people to be over there yeah, there's so many sports like this is just like a sports school so it's a lot easier to have everything separate. All right, that's it. That's the football locker room. I appreciate you guys all for watching the video. If you're interested in playing at the collegiate level um, for football, that is, I hope that this video helped you get a look at what D3 football locker rooms are like. I highly doubt all of them are like that. I, I don't know. Um, I should have asked D'Angelo while I had the chance. That's the Mount Union men's football. I guess there's not a women's football. That's the football team locker room. Appreciate the support lately. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. Thank you.